What's up my boys? Welcome to another day here on Medata. Jon. Oh sorry, I'm just getting my daily travel inspiration. We're going on a food and wine tour and we're starting in 15 minutes and it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> but one thing that I don't like about today is that we're leaving this hotel, Belmont Ridge Palace, the best hotel I have ever stayed at. I'm just gonna put it out there. That's what she said. Goodbye, my lover. Home, Jeeves. I hate goodbyes. on this little food and wine tour and we are doing it with a very local guide Sophia who grew up here in Madeira but now we are doing what you like the most we're gonna try a little bit of alcohol oh. <laughs> and also what better time of tasting alcohol than 11 o'clock in the morning I feel like George Washington right now drinking this because this guys was actually what they cheered in when they made the... We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. This is a Madeiran wine, a white wine, because they do actually make white and red wine here in Madeira. But it is generally the white wine that is um, quality. The red wine is a bit more spotty in terms of <laughs> primo quality. And um, Amelia, there is a little fun story about this because do you recognize this tower here? This tower actually were built by women. So back in the days when the men, they went out to conquer the world, the women said, if you guys come back safely, we will build a tower that are big enough to be seen and heard over the entire valley. And that's what they did. It's not my favorite wine because it's a bit too dry, but it's definitely a quality wine. We are having it paired with a espada. Espada is the black scrapped face that we've had many times. We were just told that nobody have ever seen a espada alive because they live so deep that when you drag them out of the water, they actually die from the pressure. At the Azores, there is a foundation where they have been trying to find the espada alive with a submarine, and they have not been able to succeed. You want to kiss me? Yes, those lips. <coughs> they weren't made for playing the flute. Oh my god. What is this? This is a local guide who actually make the chocolates. And then he had this variety of chocolates that are made with Madeiran flavors. So things that grows on Madeira, he stuffs in these chocolates. Oh my god. Are you having a mouth orgasm? Mm -hmm. So we are at Fabrica San Antonio and here we are having some really traditional, let's call, call them sweets. We are going to have the bolo de mel, which is actually a little uh, cherished to the Portuguese history because this is made from, with fruits from South America, it's made from spices from India and with milk, with honey from uh, Portugal. Mm. Oh, it's good. I've never had a sweet tooth. Um, so for me, this is like, yeah, I don't really care, but I'm going to taste it because I mean, I'm already fat, so I might as well continue the trend. Jon, it's time for your daily medicine. The puncture. This is what heals a cough, a cold, and a broken heart. So this is called a cadarinho, which is a really 
not nice word today but back in the days it was actually just a mast on a ship and when the sailors they did not behave the captain would say go up in the it's so difficult for me to say Caradinho. this Caradi Caradinho. Today it's a really bad word. Caralho is a word today. So but Caladinho. it's a small caralho, so yeah. it's not a good word today. Marroquino do caralho! Cabrão do caralho! Cheers in the Brisa. biggest, the most popular soft drink on uh, Madeira. Apparently, it sells more than Coca Cola here on Madeira. So, this is a, a passion fruit soft drink. And we have had it many times before, especially me, because I find it very flavorsome. If you are into sweet beverages, you cannot come to Madeira without trying this. Sophia, our guide here, she to told us about this uh, very typical sandwich that they have here in the island. This is what she considers as the best hangover food. Well, I have a hangover every day. Yeah, you do. So I should probably come here every day. This reminds me a bit of a Bifana, actually. Here you go. Don't do that, you. Oh stop. Stop. Are you scared? Stop. Hi, Celia. Hi. How are you doing? Welcome on the camera. Thank you. You are um, going to show us some of the most. Um, Beautiful garden of, of Funchal? Definitely one of the most beautiful gardens of Madeira and we have plenty, so this is special. Okay, and and what is special about it's it? It's special because it's, it's the combination of the lush vegetation, then you have all the art, the open air museum, and you have Japanese influence, and then you have things like mm, a museum of minerals, a museum of African art, and one does not expect to find this exotic combination within the limits of a garden. That's what makes the tropical gardens really unique. Ushadim Tropical, estamos prontos? Estamos prontos. Of course, you're ready to start. <laughs> and one of the fascinating things of this garden is the amazing collection of azulejos. How we say it in Portuguese, not like the Spanish, azulejos. Az As you know, it comes from the Arabic al zulaich, which means small stone. 40 panels like these can be found around the garden and they illustrate the whole history of Portugal. And we are small, yes indeed, but 900 years of history. These men here are the artists of all this collection to be found in the African Passion Collection. Back in the 60 times were heard in Zimbabwe. It was one way to earn a living. Naive and simple, probably. But guess what? Picasso was inspired by these humble men. They were mostly illiterate. This is what you're going to find in private collections like the Rockefellers or Queen Elizabeth. Okay guys, let's talk about Sacra's Vacations. They are the ones making all these wonderful experiences come true. Sacra's Vacations offer 100% customized trips around Portugal, whether you want to go to Alentejo, Douro, Madeira, or basically anywhere you want. So far, we have had some of the best experiences with Sacra's Vacations. And that says a lot because we have been traveling Portugal non-stop since August 2018. With Sacra's Vacations, you get your own private guides who will take you around in style. In our opinion, it really is the best way to explore Portugal because you get all the right food, go all the right places, and get all the right knowledge. If you send our friend Patricia an email, she'll help you plan your dream trip. And if you mention stay class, you get 10% off your entire trip. So this, these, these, this, this, is, this is a frond. Yeah. Are okay. they older than din dinosaurs? No, yes. The species. On the planet. On the planet, tree ferns are indeed recognized as being older than dinosaurs as they appeared on the planet thousands of millions of years ago. So what is most amazing is that you've got minerals that normally are not accessible to public in general. You know, they are at the depths of nature. And what he made was uh, the perfect combination to recreate 
the natural environment. So the cavities plus these uh, metallic arms like the stones are levitating and it enhances the brilliance, the colors, the shapes. So when I was a kid, my mother, she would get me a nice and flat piece of uh, rosa quartz because she's spiritual. And she said that if I slip with this under my pillow, it would mean that I would be loved in the future. And oh, now I have you one. It works. So thank it you, works. mother. I should get one too, so I can find love. We should become spiritual. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really get this. I mean, what is... I, it's beautiful, yeah. it's interesting, but what is the point? Uh, well, basically, uh, the owner of the gardens had his personal passion, which were minerals. All types of minerals. Obviously. I remember Hank from Breaking Bad. He also had a big mineral collection. You have a rock collection? It's a mineral collection! So maybe there's something to it. You've got a display of 166 big glazed terracotta tiles. Very colorful, extremely animated, and guess what? This was ordered to celebrate the 500 years of the arrival of the Portuguese in Japan. It was quite surprising when the Portuguese arrived because the Japanese didn't know Westerners. So they were surprised the way we looked, the way we were dressed, the way we were talking. And in order to get in a good relationship, you know what was the first thing we did? One of the members of the crew fire a pistol up into the air and since then we had been very close friends and this is the fascinating panel for me you have the sun and the moon the white and the black and the contrasts because it's, this is to enhance the differences between the Nipponese culture and the Western culture represented by the Portuguese for example Japanese people whenever they are in mourning for someone that passed away they are dressed in white we get dressed in black they don't cook their fish we cook it. Children in Japan start to learn how to read before they write. Our children start to learn how to write before reading. They write from the right to the left. We do it the other way around. This is a black bamboo. Back in the days, they would actually use the seeds, especially in Vietnam, they would use the seeds of this uh, species to torture prisoners. So they would, for example, put the prisoners on the ground and tie their hands and feet and in between them and the soil they would put these seeds and when the seeds started to sprout overnight it would go directly through their body and their spines directly in their body that is that's brilliant actually <laughs> Me too. You too. Thank you so Thank you. much it was for a, a, a wonderful tour. Nice to meet a real Viking from Denmark. <laughs> because I'm wearing Viking. shorts. Wow. Very sexy. Thank Likewise. you for telling all the fun stories. That makes it more interesting to visit a That's garden. The idea. And I stole yeah. a few seeds from the tree. It's amazing. So be careful where from you sleep. The bamboo? No, I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.
Du ved, jeg er en pro, når det kommer til at åbne flasker. Du ved, du er en pro, når det kommer til at drikke flasker. Også det. Welcome to Quinta Splendida. Have you realized, Jon? It's almost like a honeymoon. You know, it's like we're getting these hints um, wherever we go lately. But even did you see the bed? How they did the bed? No one has ever done that for me. I feel very special. But uh, Melia, let's cheer to uh, life and um, Madeira, the best island in the world. For sure. If it was not the hotel, but you who have made this for me, it would be the most romantic thing ever. I think we should dedicate a full video where you just review bathtubs because I should actually. <laughs> I am a professional bathtub reviewer. Cheers, Jon. Cheers. In the most advanced and pretty punch I've ever had. So this hotel is uh, used to be an old Quinta. We won't go too much into detail because we will uncover that in the next video. But I think this is one of the most pretty outside areas of a hotel I have seen. It is like a huge, you know, one of those mansions you see in Malibu, like 50 million dollars. You know, they have all, more than a thousand different species of, uh, of flowers and plants here. You wouldn't think that when you go to Madeira that you can get decent Thai food. This is beyond decent. Um, are you drunk? Yeah. This is the same glass as when I started. Oh.